All right, yo, I'm John, 28. I've been skating for 15 years, 16-ish. I was born in Weatherford, grew up in Springtown, like kind of moved around a little bit to other states, but it was like mainly Texas. Uh, my, my dad gave me a PlayStation 2, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and 4, and I played the other, like the 1 and 2, but it was like a game at that point. It was basically like uh, Monster Trucks or something, you know, like Smash Bros or something. You know, it's just something to do. And then I got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and 4, and it was like, oh, this is like, I'm like into this. And then my friend across the street had a board, and so it was like, all right, cool. I got the little, little Kmart board before Walmart. Kmart board that was like this big, like $8, and I got a full-size Kmart board and like you know kind of went through the the gambit of trying to find the the good board and stuff like that so it was it was Tony Hawk thank you Tony Hawk first actual board because uh, like I had uh, the Kmart board and then I got a Walmart board and then I got Oshman's before it turned into Academy and I found my uncle's old CCS magazine and I was like oh sick I can go through here and circle all this stuff and like find what I want so that's how I got my first actual board I ordered a Paul Rodriguez plan B with mob grip I gripped it myself there's blood stains all over it because I didn't know how to do it and then uh, so and then from then on like I just circled the graphics I liked I didn't know sizes until I went to fast forward for my first time, like the first actual skate shop, and they were like, what size board do you run? Size? Oh man, <laughs> I don't know about sizes. So uh, that was like my first actual board, Paul Rodriguez Plan B. So hyped I gripped it myself. Uh, Ronnie Mullen, for sure. Because like that dude was doing stuff that was, he was inspiring vert skaters to do air walks and like, our, he was inspired by vert skaters to do air walks and then he would do finger flips and then that would like cross pollinate the inspiration. So Daywan, Chris Cole, who's like, I was like heavy into zero. Um, Brian Herman. <clears throat> and then we can go on to like all the tech dudes like Mark Johnson, Louis Barletta, Oh man, this goes on and on. Eli, Eli Silva, like he, his front side airs are gorgeous. Ah, oh, my favorite flat ground tricks, like fakie flip, always feels so good. Um, any trick that like you actually pop and you can feel the catch and stuff like that, it feels amazing. So, but like my favorite tricks to do are like new tricks. Stuff you, ba you battled for, like whatever, like the, the new trick of the day or the new trick of like, the one that's like inhabiting your brain and like you can't get it out of your head, those are my favorite tricks. And then you get it and then you're like, oh yes! And then you can drill that trick and then you have it down and then you can do it in lines. Oh man, there's so much. Just literally the feeling of just rolling on side, what concrete, whatever the ground is, just rolling around. Just the feeling of that. <clears throat> There's no one telling you when to when to go skate. There's no one telling you how far to skate. There's no one telling you how what tricks to do. Whenever I first started, it was a lot of tough love. Like, oh, you can't drop in. It's like, yeah, it's my first time to a skate park. Like, why is your shoe torn up? Because I skate in front of my house, dude. Oh, you're a poser. It's like, I'm trying to learn. So like now it's like we see people at the skate park and like it's sometimes it is unsolicited advice where we, uh, we just kind of jump into helping someone, but that's because we don't want to see them eat shit. And, you know, we could have used that help whenever we were younger. So that's probably my favorite thing. It's this, uh, it's growing to be more encompassing and like, in, like inclusive and like pulling everyone in and not so much like, oh, you're different, go away. It's like, yeah, we're all different. Like that's the beauty of life is like, just hanging around with people with different perspectives and different lifestyles and you can learn so much from people that you wouldn't have thought that you could learn from and just always keep an open mind and that's what skateboarding showed me the hard way is to always keep an open mind like this trick might not work <clears throat> so you can train I don't know you can do these other things and like then that trick works or sometimes it's like I don't know it 
It, skateboarding produces the unex, unexplainable feeling of joy. And uh, music is the only other thing that's like been that for me where you can work on something and then you get it down and then it's like you mow the lawn and it looks great. You're like, I did that thing, I did it. The, the accomplishment, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> So for the longest time, I didn't know size, so I was just like skating whatever, and then uh, narrowed it down to like seven eight because I was just like I'm not a big dude, so I have some, kind of a small frame. I'm like five eight on a good day with really thick shoes, so uh, it's like I was skating at seven point eight for the longest time, and then went up to an eight one Mark Suju Habitat board, and I loved it, and then went up to an eight two five. It was a crooked Mike Anderson, and I was like, oh, this shape is amazing. So from then on, I was just like eight twos. I would dabble with eight threes, uh, one forty nine Thunders bushings I I changed those out for the bones mediums the yellow ones and then loose Lucy boy Lucy boy um, mob grip usually I like shake junk but uh, mob grip if you get clear grip don't get mob sorry mob. your clear grip isn't the, the best pimp grip that's where it's at black magic no black widow yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> Uh, usually I'll like it's it's usually an inspiration from like watching a skate video or uh, like a homie learning a new trick or something like that and then I'll see like oh I can do 180 into that or I can do uh, like a shove out or something like that and then usually whenever I really spend time to learn new tricks it's something I've been like thinking about all day like racking my brain on like thinking about like where my head needs to be where my shoulders are at like where I need to be like just running all the simulations in my head before I even step on the board and that's like all day at work and then I get get to the park or something like that and you know it's just so it's usually like kind of warming up it's usually like an extension of a trick I already have like if I have nose grinds and I'll like try a half cab into it or I'll try a trick out of it or whatever it is just kind of like branching it out and then eventually you're like you're doing like like I don't know fakey 50 like whatever out and it's just like it started from doing fakey 50s so it's just <clears throat> it's it's an ever-growing thing if you can't do heel flips try kick flips if you can't do those try varial flips if you can't do those try it switch you never know what's going to happen like you never know it's going to work so just try everything really really all about what you want to do wax love it curb candy hook me up dude curb candy the best wax out there so like dollar 29 a q skate shop Dude, it's the best. You can put it in your pocket. I literally have some in my pocket right now. It's the best. So certain tricks, I would say, have like a rhythm to it. So like whenever you go to like, say you're doing a front 50 or something like that, you, you're you riding, you crouch, you pop, you let your lip weight down again on the ledge, and then you're sinking down, you stand up, and then that's whenever you're popping out. So that's the rhythm. There's certain rhythms for certain tricks. So like if you're doing a front tail and you want to hold it a long time, your weight's up, you crouch down to ollie, you pop, you let up, you land, you suck in. And then as you're standing back up, you use that to flip out or whatever. But if you want to do a longer tail slide, you have to find that rhythm. And like, so you pop in, you land, you kind of stand up, you suck in, you go up again, and then you suck in again for a longer slide and then as you're coming back up that's whenever you pop out you and for like nose grinds and stuff like that you use for me you use the the rebound so you're locked in on a backside nose grind my favorite trade probably as you can tell uh you're locked in on a back backside nose grind and your bushing wants to do that it wants to go back to normal so you use that motion to propel yourself out of the trick so it, it really depends on which trick but all of them have a certain rhythm and when you figure it out maybe that's from like being a guy that plays guitar or whatever but you have a certain amount of like pumping almost in tricks and uh, when you figure that out a lot of other windows open up where you wouldn't have expected it to go because that's why I say try everything because you don't know what's gonna work like everything can work nothing can work it could be one of those days where nothing works and you just go home and then like you're bummed and then the next day you're like oh i didn't get anything yesterday so then you're like extra excited about skating and then you learn something new and then that's the feeling that we're all chasing is that 
feeling, man. I'm getting goosebumps again. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, shout outs to Pushman Skateboards, Blue Shoes, Wheels, Mammoth Hardware, Q, Skate Shop. I love you. Underappreciated clothing. Like all the all the people, those church bells. I just I just want to thank skateboarding everyone, whether you're like like whether you're a homie or like someone that isn't gonna like mess with us. Like it doesn't matter. Like I just skateboarding. Everyone's awesome. Like the the amount of overpouring in skateboarding. Like it's almost an oversaturation, but I don't want to think of it like that because it's that's almost famine mentality where you think of it. Like there's too many of us and there's not enough to go around and the pie keeps getting smaller because all these local brands but it's like yeah all you all of your favorite brands started off as a small company i don't know just skateboarding is so rad life is pretty rad too <laughs> the homies uh man everyone's so sick so thank you for doing this Frank, yeah you're a natural buddy